Have you ever felt the touch of a gushing wave reaching your feet washing your legs and leaving a trace behind These fishermen experience it every day Indeed this is what they chose for a living Risk is an essential part of what they do fleeing into the deep sea for earning their daily meal If you're lucky enough you come back loaded heavy or else you end up sacrificing the day's meal and this is where the day fades to rise again for a better tomorrow In the year 2006 alone India exported 6 lakh metric tons of fish to 90 countries all around the world The seven major coastal regions that export fish from India are Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Bihar, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu. The coastal region of Chennai alone has seen exponential growth in fish export in the recent years. The fish that is caught is moved to the shore for an auction. Retailers gather together for a common bidding held by the fishermen. Retailers hang around the place trying for their best shot for low prices. The fishing net is usually 10 km long. Based on the requirement, the net is stitched using polymers such as nylon or organic polyamides like wool or silk. The major problem the industry is facing is related to storage. Ice has been instrumental in many storage procedures, and approximately 5 tons of crushed ice is used for storing fish on board while returning. It is a separate section in the form of cubicles providing less surface area to avoid the rate of evaporation. Being equipped with all the necessary components, the boat dashes into the sea, going against the currents. sailing to the far ends of the bay of bengal after a long tiring journey of 13 days they return loaded after positioning themselves they unload the fish into a tricycle The initial dust cleansing process is carried out and finally they are taken into the company's production unit successfully. Several techniques have been used to produce ice out of which the most common one is like this. A 4.3 feet tall metal rectangular box containing fresh water and a 5.7 feet deep base containing salty water is used. Using compressor fans, the temperature is maintained between minus nine to minus ten degrees Celsius. It takes thirty-six hours for water to turn into ice, each weighing around one thirty kilograms. The ice is then pulled out and pushed to the crushers, where the ice turns into pieces. At the distribution end they separate the load into 30 to 35 kilograms per box They move the load into containers with ice to avoid foul smell and rotting
At the raw material receiving end, they receive the fill boxes and move them to the pre-processing area The fish are separated from the boxes. Two fishes are tagged into a single string and then finally cleaned with fresh water after placing in the tray. After the pre-processing area, the fish are stored in a separate freezer known as the trawl freezer. The fish are hanged vertically using balance principle. The temperature is brought down to minus 40 degrees Celsius. The freezer has a capacity of 250 tons. The whole process takes 8 to 9 hours of work. Shrimps are another species which are mainly exported to other countries besides fish. In the pre-processing area, the shrimp heads are removed and inspected thoroughly and then weighed. They are weighed according to 1.830 kilograms per tray and later moved to the processing area. Here, they are kept in a box made of galvanized iron or stainless steel in order to avoid rusting. The flake eyes are then partialed out and spread on the surface of the box completely without leaving much space for exposure. So flake eyes we get as chips, small chips. There will be a plate inside the machine. That plate, water will be sprinkling into that plate and that plate will be cool plate. So water when it is sprinkled into that cool plate, it becomes ice. A cutter is going inside this flake ice machine. That cutter cuts into small flakes. Fresh water is poured into the box as per requirement, then closed by a lid. Water is used to attain the shape of a box once frozen. The boxes are then aligned together and tightly closed using lids. The temperature is maintained at around minus 40 degrees Celsius inside. After around 90 minutes, the compressed boxes are then released free. The boxes are taken out from the plate freezer and the lids are removed in order to bring the temperature back to room temperature. The block is then packed in polythene covers of more than 40 microns. The packages are finally taped and forwarded to the marketing section. After 8 hours, a sample fish is taken out and checked thoroughly. The temperature should ideally be minus 80 degrees Celsius. If not, they wait till desired temperature is obtained. After having met the desired conditions, the fish is then taken out from the trawl freezer and weighed. If the fish weigh above 30 kilograms, they are taped with red tape and any load below 30 are taped with blue. The packed fish are kept in small storage rooms where the temperature ranges from minus 18 degrees Celsius to minus 20 degrees Celsius. When the small storage room is filled completely, the staff heads to the large storage room having a capacity of 1000 metric tons where the temperature remains the same as above. As the deals are made, the stock from the small storage rooms are transferred to heavy trucks where the temperature is still maintained below minus 20 degrees Celsius. We are exporting our tuna fish mainly to North African countries 
then our shrimp items to China, Japan, uh, Thailand, Gulf countries, US, Europe, and our fish items mainly we ship it to China. From the factory, the heavy trucks head to the port where the load is transferred from the truck to the ships. The trucks carry approximately 450 tons of fish each and are sailing to various countries around the world, delivering smiles all over. Now, they have to wait another three months for letting the natural breeding process to occur and then the whole cycle happens again, on and on.